Wherever you go in the world, unless you are in countries like Iran, Afghanistan, or North Korea, you are likely to come across a McDonald's restaurant. This fast food chain is so ubiquitous on our planet that when a person goes to a foreign country and doesn't want to eat the local food, that person is likely to go to McDonald's. Because people have already gotten used to the taste of what they are going to eat and they know that it is a standard all over the world. For this reason, the current state of McDonald's is also the subject of many global sociological, political, and economic debates. According to the recently released Global Peace Index, Iceland tops the list of the world's most peaceful countries. This small country, located north of the Atlantic Ocean and far from the mainland, seems to be reaping the rewards of its geographic location, far from the political strife and refugee influx that is currently rocking the world. So how can such a country have a problem with McDonald's and not have any restaurants on its territory? Let's take a closer look at why there are no McDonald's restaurants in Iceland. In the 1960s, McDonald's became increasingly popular, first in the United States and then around the world. By the 1980s, the Cold War was slowly coming to an end and American brands and culture were becoming dominant in the world. Of course, during this time, McDonald's restaurants began to open rapidly in all corners of the world. In fact, one year before the collapse of America's greatest enemy, the Soviet Union, on January 31, 1990, a McDonald's, which is considered one of the greatest symbols of imperialism, opened a restaurant in Moscow, the center of the country. But while all this was happening, this famous fast food chain had not yet visited Iceland. McDonald's opened its doors in Iceland in 1993. The opening was even attended by then Prime Minister David Ottson, and he became the person who ate the restaurant's first hamburger. It was an important step for the country, far from the mainland, to integrate with the world. And also McDonald's opening restaurants in the country has apparently attracted interest from the government. But McDonald's did not last long in Iceland. Sixteen years later, in 2009, they closed their last restaurant in the country. I think most of you are thinking that the Icelandic government banned this fast food chain from operating in the country to protect the health of its citizens. After all, we are talking about a place that was voted the most peaceful country in the world. Many health experts say that high sugar and carbohydrate consumption makes people more aggressive, irritable, and moody. They also claim that this has a negative impact on both public health and people's psychology. But there is another reason why McDonald's is closing in Iceland. One of the most important developments affecting and shaping the world today is the global economic crisis of 2008. Iceland was one of the hardest hit countries when this economic crisis began. The effects of the crisis hit the country so quickly that they were on the verge of bankruptcy. The situation in Iceland made the whole world even more uncomfortable. An anonymous user even put Iceland up for sale on the then popular auction site eBay. Of course, this was an attempt at trolling, but the situation was serious. Ijal Forsverison, then coach of the Icelandic national soccer team, tried to withdraw money from an ATM after a match against the Netherlands in 2008. But due to capital controls, the bank refused to give him any money and he was left without any. Because of this economic crisis, their currency, the Icelandic krona, has almost halved in value. As a result, import prices have skyrocketed. As I said at the beginning, McDonald's restaurants serve the same products to their customers all over the world, with much the same taste. Since Iceland is a small and geographically inconvenient country, McDonald's imported meat and other products from Germany. The crisis drove up import prices to such an extent that the price of importing a kilo of onions from Germany was almost the same as a bottle of good whiskey. As a result, the most expensive Big Mac in the world was sold in Iceland during this period. But no matter how much they raised the prices, they could no longer make a profit. The company holding the franchise rights announced that McDonald's would cease operations in October 2009. They closed three restaurants in the capital Reykjavik. Actually, the franchisee did not close the restaurants completely, they turned them into a local chain called Metro. In doing so, they got rid of McDonald's standards and started using local products. The closure of McDonald's in Iceland caused an incident that attracted worldwide attention. A citizen named Jordan Smirison bought the last menu before the restaurant closed on October 30th, 2009, the last day McDonald's was open in the country. Smirison had no intention of eating the menu, he just bought it as a souvenir. He put it somewhere in the garage of his house and forgot about it. Three years later, while cleaning, he noticed the box by chance. When he opened it, he saw that the hamburger and fries he had bought had not deteriorated or rotted on the outside. He decided to donate the menu to the National Museum for display. 
but the museum's experts refused to accept the donation, saying they did not know how to preserve these products. Then a hostel in the capital, Reykjavik, agreed with Smerison to take the menu and put it on display. This last McDonald's menu in Iceland was also broadcast live on the internet 24-7 for a while, but then the stream was taken down. Today the menu is still on display in the same hostel. These hamburgers and fries, which have not changed in appearance in years, have caused great controversy around the world. It is well known that obesity rates are on the rise and one of the biggest culprits is fast food restaurants. It is claimed that these restaurants, which sell fully processed food, use super preservatives that are extremely harmful to human health to extend the shelf life of products before and after service. Following the controversy, McDonald's officials issued a statement and said that they do not use super preservatives in their products. They claim that even a homemade hamburger can last as long as a 14-year-old McDonald's hamburger in Iceland, provided there is no moisture in and around it. What do you think?